damage done to the families and the victims in this case is and and Monroe County as a whole uh, is going to reverberate uh, it, it, beyond our years. New information tonight on the victims of the deadly Swan Boat Club crash about a week and a half ago. The attorney representing those victims say more is being uncovered in his own independent investigation. Melissa Andrews is live tonight with what came out of the news conference today. Mel? Well, John Marco is representing the victims and their families. He said everyone who played a role in this tragedy needs to be held accountable. Marco said Marcella Chedester was driving and is the one who caused the crash, which killed two siblings and injured many others. But there are more people who contributed to the tragedy, and that includes the Vernus Tavern, where Chedester was served alcohol, and the Swan Boat Club, which he claims was negligent because of its poor construction, maintenance, and potential building code violations, as well as the victim's insurance companies, which must pay their medical bills, which is why these new defendants are now included in the amended civil suit filed on behalf of the victims. That the individuals involved uh, in this incident who, who have survived, who were able to make it out alive, are going to be scarred for the rest of their lives. Uh, and, and many, if not all, are, are going to need therapy. Without revealing personal medical information, the attorney said the victims will need ongoing psychiatric and physical therapy. He also said an estate is being opened up for the siblings who were killed, Zane and Alana Phillips, and the surviving sibling, JP. Kaylee? Mel, a lot of people have been asking why this civil suit was filed so soon after the crash, just a day or two afterwards. Well, the attorney said there are very specific reasons for that. There are many people who were inside that club who are suffering. They are unable to work because of their injuries, and some of them will need long-term care. This medical care requires insurance claims to be opened up with people's auto insurance companies because an automobile was involved. He said it sounds odd, but those medical bills have to be paid by the victim's own auto insurance companies in addition to any other health insurance claims. And he said more victims and defendants may be added before all of this is over. Kaylee. All right, thanks, Mel. Stay with us on air and online for updates. You can also get updates on our WTOL 11 app.